Good morning. Happy New Week. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful for the privilege to be alive and well today. We want to thank you because your love is unfailing, your mercy is unfailing, and you are good. You are totally good. In you there is no evil, in you there is no darkness. Thank you. Thank you for being our Father. And on this broadcast this morning, inspire us to pray in line with your will as we order this week from your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So God's word is going ahead of us to order this week in our favor. And this week we shall see the good hand of the Lord in all that we lay hands upon, in all that we do, in all that we desire. We shall see the good hand of the Lord this week in Jesus' name. And when we talk about the good hand of the Lord, we're referring to his presence, his power, his might, his ability, his, uh, his goodness, his richness with us. So the good hand of the Lord is our portion this week. Amen. Let's read a few scriptures like we usually do, and then we begin to pray. Genesis 49, 24. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. His hands were made strong by the mighty hand of the God of Jacob. So God's hand strengthens, and the hand of the Lord will strengthen you even this week. Exodus 13, 16. And it shall be for a taken, for a to I beg your pardon, and it shall be for a token upon thine hand, and for frontlets between thy eyes. For by strength of hand the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. The hand of God delivers. It delivers from oppression. It delivers from bondage, like it did for the children of Israel. Joshua 4, 23 to 24. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you were passed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which dried up from before us until we were gone over, that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, and that they might fear the Lord your God forever. That ye might fear the Lord your God forever. So that all the nations might know the hand of God that it is mighty. The hand of the Lord is mighty. The might of God is in his hand. And that will be your portion this week. Experiencing his might in Jesus' name. First Samuel 5 and 7. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with us. For his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon our God. So God's hand brought judgment, you know, to the enemies of the people of God and pulled down their idol that was called Dagon. Hmm. Ezra 7 and 6. Then Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. And the king granted him all his requests, according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. The good hand of the Lord was upon Ezra, and he found favor before the king. You will find favor this week because of the good hand of the Lord. Ezra 8 and 31. Then we departed from the river Ahava on the 12th day of the first month to go into Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us, and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy, and of such as lay in wait by the way. The hand of the Lord guarantees safety and preservation. That is our portion this week. Psalm 118, 15 to 16. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Lastly, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13 and verse 11. And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. Because Simon the sorcerer withstood Apostle Paul, and immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. The hand of the Lord is the hand that separates light from darkness, that silences the devil. Can we begin to pray? Let's give thanks unto the Lord because we are called by his name. Father, we want to thank you because once again we have come as your children to give you thanks. We are the ones called by your name. We exalt you. For he being our ransom, let's exalt the, the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are our ransom. You were the price paid for our redemption. Thank you for the blood, your precious blood that you shed for us. We give praise and glory to your name in the name of Jesus. Can we give thanks unto the Lord because we are in his light. We are in the glorious light of the Son. Lord, I want to thank you because we are in your light. We are in the glorious light of the Son of God. We give you praise because we are not in darkness. Can we appreciate the Lord because we enjoy his liberty. Now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Can we give thanks because we enjoy his liberty. I want to thank you Lord because we enjoy your liberty. We are in your freedom. We are not in captivity. We are not on 
under oppression. We are free. We've been made free by the blood of Jesus. We exalt you. Can we give him praise because we are not under condemnation for we have been justified freely by grace. Lord, I want to thank you because today we are not under condemnation. We have been justified freely by grace. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus. Can we decree the help of the Lord as we begin the journey of this week? We decree the help of the Lord as we commence the journey of this week. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God and the Lord our God is our helper is the one who helps us and right early Lord will receive your help therefore this week in the name of Jesus Christ can we tell the Lord that we we, we, we receive his good hand even upon our lives this week Lord will receive your good hand your hand of righteousness your hand of mercy your hand of glory your hand of power we receive your good hand upon our lives upon all our ways upon all our plans upon all our intentions in the name of Jesus can we release the power of God and release the blessing of the Lord upon every second ahead of us, every minute, every hour, every day that we have uh, in this week in the name of Jesus. Lord, we command and we release uh, your blessing upon every unit of time ahead of us in this week and for the rest of this year. In the name of Jesus, let the blessing of the Lord rest upon every second, every minute, every hour, every day that we have ahead of us from now till the end of the year and in this week in particular in the name of Jesus. Can we redeem this week from evil and from every satanic plan and agenda? We we'll redeem this day from evil. We we'll redeem this week from evil, from every satanic plan, every satanic agenda. We we'll destroy concerning us this week in the name of Jesus. Can we enforce the victory of the cross of Jesus upon every single day of this week? We enforce the victory of the cross of Jesus. We enforce the victory of the resurrection of Christ upon every single day of this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, can we believe the Lord that the hand of the Lord uh, will grant us favor, favor even this week. Let your good hand oh God bring us favor. Let your good hand oh God walk favor out for us in various situations uh, and circumstances uh, in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord promotes. The hand of the Lord exalts. The Bible says the hand of the Lord is exalted. The Bible says the right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. Can we receive exaltation? Can we receive promotion this week uh, in different areas of life on account of the hand of the Lord. Let there be promotions, let there be exaltations, let there be divine announcements, Lord, on account of your good hand upon us. Even this week in the name of Jesus, decree victory concerning you this week because of the right hand of the Lord. Lord, your right hand is exalted. Lord, your right hand do it valiantly. Your hand is valiant in battle. Lord, we decree victory on account of your hand upon our lives this week in the name of Jesus. No losses, no defeats, no setbacks, only only victory this week, only victory for the rest of this year concerning us in the name of Jesus. On no count will we lose to the devil. On no count will we lose to any work or plan of the devil in the name of Jesus. Can we come against infirmity and sickness and disease and attacks from the pits of hell in the name of Jesus? We come against infirmities, we come against sicknesses and diseases, medical conditions, mishaps, evil occurrences. We overturn all of this by the good hand of the Lord that is upon us even this week in the name of Jesus. Can we decree laughter and comfort on account of a good hand of the Lord even upon us this week? Let there be laughter in our habitations. Let there be comfort in our lives on account of your good hand that is upon us in the name of Jesus. Trust the Lord for express guidance by the hand of the Lord. Express guidance. You will not take a step in error. You will not walk in error. You will not take a step out of tune with the divine will and purpose of God. Pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus on account of a good hand upon us. Uh, let there be express guidance uh, of your spirit over our lives this week. He e let every step of ours be ordained and be ordered by your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not walk in error. Our decisions, uh, our choices, our actions shall be influenced uh, by your spirit, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Believe the Lord that the hand of the Lord will lead you to your places of rest uh, even this week. Let your good hand lead us to our places of rest uh, in our job our careers, our pursuits, our marriages, our families, our dreams, our goals, our projects. Let your hand lead us to the place of rest and peace and joy and rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ. Trust the Lord that the good hand of the Lord will cause you to enjoy the richness of his presence, the sweetness of the covenant of life in the name of Jesus. Let your hand make us enjoy the richness of your presence, the sweetness of your name, the sweetness of being called by your 
name, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Believe the Lord that the hand of the Lord will be the distinctive factor in your life. Even this week, when others are falling, you will stand. Where others are complaining, you will sing for joy. Let your hand be the distinguishing factor, Lord, in our lives this week and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, the same way there was a distinction between Goshen and Egypt. Let there be such distinction, very clear. Lord, between us and the people of the world, we give you praise because we are your covenant children. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with us on the broadcast this week. I'll see you again next week. Until then, keep praying and keep believing the Lord. It is well. Bye-bye.